Hello guys, welcome to Coding for Tester Part One. So in the Part Zero or the or in the previous part, I had to talk about how I transfer my life from manual to test automation. And in this part, uh, so what exactly we are going to do is that we'll be learning more about testing. So uh, we'll start with learning how manual testing is different from automation testing. And to go to the automation testing, we must have certain. Uh, certain kind of depth in manual testing also so in this tutorial series i will be t uh, i will be give, uh, giving more uh, tutorials lectures whatever you can say or sharing my thoughts about uh, how you can learn more about the manual testing and try to switch to automation in the in this so i believe that it's a very unique uh, unique tutorials that nobody taught uh, nobody is talking about right now and I had a very uh, pretty much very difficulty to find these kind of tutorials where people are switch, uh, trying to make it uh, automation better as well as uh, for a manual uh, converting a manual testing tester to automation tester it was uh, so and the tutorials that I wanted to in my YouTube maybe another uh, tutorials it was very difficult to find so let's not waste our time and let's get started so in this tutorial what we will do in learning is that we will be basically learning uh, what understanding the difference between the manual as well as automation so I will be talking about this uh, point so first of all let's move on to this uh, the, so the first point is manual testing is a process which is done manually yes it's totally right and manual testing is just uh, doing certain kind of repetitive tasks again and again and whereas the automation testing is a process which is done by help of automated tools so generally what we do is that uh, we will just automate whatever we have a test cases in manual part for example there is a particular login login page that you want to test and what exactly we will do is that for all the test cases generally we do have but that comes or comes to our mind for example maybe six to ten what we will do is that we will write a certain automation to code and it will do it again and again so generally the all the all the famous uh, the second point of the manual testing is all the famous for phrases LTST like test planning test deployment result analysis and these these come under the category of manual test yes it, it is so whenever we are uh, we as a tester starting the project we have a certain uh, levels of uh, levels of execution that we have to do for example test planning test planning analyzing and all it takes a manual effort to do that but after that, whenever we have a stable product release, we can do automation framework also. And we can use it to tools like JMeter, Selenium, QTP, Loadrunner, WinRunner and all. So, uh, so next point in the manual testing is that while well, test. So manual testing is a start of testing. Without this testing, we cannot start. Yes, yes, yes. We are, I am totally agree with this. So whenever, uh, as I have said earlier, if you are, we are starting the starting with the new project we have to do certain manual effort to make it plan for to create a test plan test cases and all and after that what we can do is that uh, we can automate those test cases in our automation testing so in the manual testing testers are allowed to do random testing and find bugs yes we do so uh, manual testing is also important whenever it comes to mind uh, comes to testing a particular project a web maybe in uh, mobile testing so what we do is that we do random testing where we just explore the project uh, pro project more about it and finding it finding the bugs so it's a kind of exploratory testing exploratory testing is a type of testing where what we do is that we explore the product and we just do everything to break it and we try to explore its uh, any in internal parts we just go and we write it down uh, what exactly it's covered what exact how it's behave for particular results and all that Generally, in the automation, we don't do that. We don't do that. We do just do that particular test cases that we have written in the manual test cases. So next slide says that okay, in the manual testing, we find more bugs than automation. Yes, we do, because generally what we are doing is that we will doing random testing and we are behaving like a user user more in manual testing. So in the automation testing, we we just test the repetitive task. So I will tell you that so suppose we have a project and in the start we, we require about 60% uh, of the effort where we have to do manual efforts but after that 40% of the regression part that we can do in the automation so that's that is that is how it's done and 
we don't want to test repeated things uh, in manual testing we just automate them in the manual testing it takes time yes it is and in automation it doesn't take time because we already are using certain kind of automation tools that uh, takes less than and less than less time as compared to the manual efforts uh, manual testing would run sequentially yes we do generally we do is that what we do we uh, we do serve certain uh, sequential test cases and in the automation generally what we do is that we do in the different machines and for example uh, we have a project where we have to test a web website so what we can do is that we can automate those uh, test cases that we have already uh, in uh, if we want to do cross browser testing we can automate them in selenium and if we want to do cross uh, platform and all we can do also in the selenium also so this is how uh, the auto automation testing comes into mind it comes in the mind or it comes in the play and uh, it's give more coverage or test coverage increased our test coverage uh, regression testing is uh, so next point was regression testing is a tough in manual testing it's very very tough you will get bored you just want it to if you are continuously doing regression testing for a project for like maybe one or two months you will just uh, would like to quit <laughs> quit the company uh, there was a one time i was very much uh, about to do that and so regression testing don't waste your time on the manual efforts just automate everything that you have so next slide says that few tests are required in the automation because so yes it's same thing actually based on uh, again so in the manual we in the manual we require more more testers whereas in the automation it will not require so in manual testing as well as automation both are expensive and generally we have a less expansion in uh, less expensive in manual testing so in the manual testing it gives low accuracy results because we are doing it we are a manual effort and in the automation it's give accurate results generally uh, in manual testing we don't need a, any kind of programming but we do know we do have a knowledge we do we must have a knowledge of product as well as uh, we must be a, a subject matter expert of that project and in the automation we generally need a programming language to automate certain tasks so this is all about difference between the manual testing and automation and in the upcoming tutorials what we will be doing is that we will be learning more about the automation testing and all and we will be learning more about how we can implement small utilities and all in the python so hope to see you in the next video thank you guys and do subscribe my channel and it's a twitter and as well twitter it's it's small and for facebook is also it's it's small it's like more and if you have any kind of suggestion maybe any thing that you would like to and if any kind of doubt that you have related to switching from manual to testing and anything related to it just uh, and anything related to coding also you can just drop me an email or maybe just uh, comment down below with a comment down below and i will definitely try to help you have a nice day guys